All the lights we've applied so far have been photometric lights with real-world intensities. Up to now, we've worked with the daylight system doing rendering for exterior during the daytime. However, there will be many times where you'll have to render a scene that is a nighttime scene that does not use the daylight system but uses regular photometric lights. Go ahead and open the file Chapter 5 Exterior Streetlight 01.max. Click on the Application button. Open. Navigate to the Chapter 5 subdirectory. Choose the file Chapter 5 Exterior Streetlight 01 and click Open to open it. Before we do anything, let's go ahead and increment this file. Click on the Application button. Save as. Click the Increment button in the dialog and that will save our scene as an incremented file. You'll see in this file we have a scene that has our street along with some street lights that already have photometric lights connected to them. Our current scene is illuminated using the daylight system. You can see that it's a completely illuminated scene and doesn't look anything like a nighttime street scene. In this lesson we're going to take a look at a tool that is handy when working with multiple lights in your scene. We're also going to make some adjustments to the street lights in order to make them look more realistic. First, we need to scroll the time slider all the way to the last frame. We're going to do this because we have an animated camera in the scene, and the last frame is the frame that we want to use for rendering our street scene test. So go ahead and click and drag the time slider all the way over to the right-hand side of the screen. You should be at frame 59. In the main toolbar, go to the Tools menu, and from the Tools menu drop-down, select the Light Lister. Let's take a look at the light lister and see what it's telling us. The light lister has a rollout called lights. This lists all of the lights in your scene that are available. One thing you'll notice is that we only have three lights listed. We have the sun and the sky, which are both part of the daylight system. However, the third light has a drop down list instead of a type in for the name. The reason for this is that we have instanced all of the lights that we'll be using as street lights. Because of this, the light lister is showing us one instead of 12 lights, but gives us the ability to edit all the lights by changing the value of only that one entry. Let's turn this into a night scene. You'll notice that the photometric light is currently turned off as indicated by the checkbox of the on parameter. Notice the box is unchecked and the sky and the sun are on. Notice the box in the on parameter is checked. Click on the box in the on parameter for the sunlight and the skylight. This will turn them off. Make sure camera one is active. Click the render button to render the scene. You'll notice the scene is completely black and we don't see anything. Now click the on parameter for the photometric lights. This will turn them on in the scene. Render the camera viewport again. These lights are set to the default value of a photometric light. Switch over in the Command Panel to the Modify Panel. In the Light Lister, click on the very small vertical button to the very left of the photometric light entry. This selects the lights in the scene. In the Command Panel, scroll down until you get to the Color Intensity and Attenuation rollout for the selected photometric light. Currently our color is what is known as the D65 Illuminant, which is color balanced white for 6500 degrees Kelvin. In the intensity area, the current intensity is set to candelas, and we have a value of 1500. If we render this scene though, you'll notice that it's completely black. We've turned the lights on, but there's still nothing rendering in the scene. The reason for this is that our exposure is still set for daytime exposure, which means that the iris of our camera is closed down to a point where it's only letting in a little bit of light during the day. We need to fix this. At night, we need to open the iris of our camera and expose for a night scene. Close the render frame window, and in the rendering menu, select the exposure control option. In the MR exposure control rollout, we're going to select one of the presets that will make it easier for us to expose for different scene configurations. 
In the drop-down menu for the exposure presets, click the down arrow. Currently our exposure is set to physically based lighting, outdoor daylight, clear sky. We want to select the physically based lighting, outdoor nighttime option. You'll notice that when you select that, the exposure value now changes to 3. This has the effect of brightening our exposure, which will allow us to see the street lights that we just turned on. Again, click the Render button. Now when we render our scene, our exposure is properly set to expose for a nighttime scene using photometric lights. The lighting looks okay, but it may not be exactly what we want, but we'll fix that later. You'll notice in the rendering that there's one thing missing, our shadows. Let's turn on the shadows. Make sure at least one of your photometric lights are selected. If you use the light lister to reselect lights, it will select them all. Since they're instanced, it won't make any difference. In the Modify panel, scroll up to the General Parameters rollout. The option we need to look for is in the Shadows area of the rollout. Notice the Shadows checkbox is turned off. This is causing the light not to cast any shadows in the scene, which makes it fairly unrealistic for a street light. Click on the checkbox to turn the shadow on. Let's re-render our camera view. Click on the Render button in the main toolbar. You'll notice now that our scene looks considerably different because there are now shadows in the scene and it gives it a much more realistic look. Press Ctrl S to save the scene.